that I'm gonna have to turn off the cold start because it is loud. It's loud. Like, it's really loud. My neighbors are going to hate me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today, we have a couple things going on. We have a car show. First car show, it's called Caffeine and Horsepower. And then I also have a new lens coming for the camera. I've been shooting on this 11 to 22 for all my vlog and photos because it's really wide and it's nice when you're up close. But I bought a 50 millimeter with a 1.8 f-stop, which should give us a little bit more depth and bokeh. I want that blurry background real crisp image so the overall plan is to go to the car show hang out with some buddies look at cars and then check out this new lens and try it out did a nice wash on the car last night clean the engine bay got everything looking good in good shape Loving these barrels. I don't want to change a single thing about the way this car sounds. Sounds amazing. Also, you guys, yesterday I realized I didn't uh, I didn't talk a whole lot about like the power benefits of the downpipe and all that, just because I want to live with it for a little bit and actually put on some draggy times and see if we've actually gained anything. I do feel like the breathing flow of the car is really, really good right now. Um, intake in, exhaust out. It feels clean, it feels smooth. The power bands feel really, really good. It's gonna be interesting when we go to stage two to see what really, really happens and how good this car feels on stage two. From what I understand, the jump from stage one to stage two is like a big jump in terms of power and how good it feels when you're driving the car. Two GT3 RSs, both in lava. We just picked this one up two weeks ago. One is a 16 and one is a 19. The interesting part about these is that one has the YSAC edition, which is a $40,000 option with all of the carbon fiber. I'm gonna let you see if you can notice the difference. So this is the one without the YSAC. And then you come over to the YSAC edition, which is a 19 and it has all of the carbon fiber. Whereas if you don't have that option, no carbon, so no carbon roof, no carbon wing. And then of course you have the carbon ducts right there. Carbon ducts up front, carbon hood, carbon valences. 40K, 40K edition. Is it worth it? I think so. I think it looks insane. E90, supercharged. Oof. This thing is super clean. I love the silver too. God, it looks good. I also like how he did the roof in like a brushed satin matte black. It's a beautiful color, man. Super sick car. LCI. Exactly. This is a cool combination with the bronze and the black. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the bronze on black, but this looks really good. I think that interior really sets it off. Most people don't like the beige. I really like the beige interior on these. Look at how it pops through the window. Ferrari 458 Italia. 
Sick. A little SV. Look at the crowd on this SV. People love it. Looks really good. Black on white. Best color combo. Stormtrooper. Oof. A little user. Jesus. <laughs> the baby seat up front. Savage. Get her. A little perfy. That satin gray. Sheesh. Yeah. Show me something cool. Hey! Hey! All right, so I just got back to the house from the car show and the lens came. This is a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 STM lens. So the great thing about this lens is it has a lot of, they call it like a bokeh effect where the background is blurry and then the subject is like crystal clear. I really wanted a lens like that. And this, this whole package, it comes with like a kit. Pro Series kit comes with like a digital filter set, a cleaning kit, rubber thing, and like a, I don't know. You really don't need the kit, you really just need the lens. I think all in all, this whole kit was like 150, 130 bucks or something like that. Totally worth it. I'm really trying to up my photo game lately, and I think that, I think this is gonna be a ticket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out. I know a couple of spots that I haven't shot in a long time, and this is the last weekend that this car is gonna be this color. So I really just wanna get like a bunch of photos of it so I can make canvases and stuff, so I remember how cool it looked after we changed the wrap. So we're gonna head out right now, take some new shots. All right, here we are, location unknown. I'm gonna do some shots of the car with this lens on, which is like my vlogging lens, so it's really wide and open. And I'm gonna switch over to the new lens just to show you guys the difference. I'm gonna stand at about the same distance that I would with the 50 mil. So it's gonna be pretty far back. But this lens is really good if you're up close because it's very wide so you get a very thick, thick um, view. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some shots with this and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then I'll switch over and I'll still be able to narrate and do a little video in between but we'll show you guys the shots. So here we are. And this is about where I'm gonna stand with the 50 mil. I think that that makes the most sense and I think that, that is the best way to go ahead and do this. This is kind of a cool spot. It's got a lot of interesting architecture to it. So I love taking photos here and I haven't been here in a while. So here we go, we're at 11 millimeters right now. I zoom in, it's the 22. As you guys can see, it's very wide open. Let's go ahead and put the 50 mil on and check it out. There you guys go. Those are the photos. Tell me what you think. So it's a totally different shooting style than the 11 to 22 because you have to be further away. But the good part about it is it brings that subject into focus and everything that is out of focus is in the background. It just makes it pop, makes that subject pop really, really good. So I'm still new to that 50 millimeter lens, but I can already tell it's gonna be one of my favorites when it comes to photography. I shot a lot of horizontal and vertical photos. I think the vertical ones sometimes work better for Instagram stories and whatnot. But for $150, dude, that lens is killer. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in it. Anyways, we got more car shows this weekend, more content coming up, boot mode stage two coming up, all sorts of good stuff. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing. If you've been here for a minute, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification just like that. This video is over and I'm out. Peace.